Speak on cars and things restos. Getting ready for summer now. So I'm that's prep time. I'll give this thing a tub and uh, then I'll get on to waxing it. Um, biggest drama I've got here is still got a week until we leave and uh, it'll be covered in dust so I'll probably have to wash it again but I want to give it a really good wax and uh, get a real good coat on it so, so it gleams a little bit. At least for the trip over anyway. Well, guys, just washed it. Uh, so we're in the washing bay and <laughs> Uh, thought right out. I'll uh, bring her in the shed. We got a week to summon that, and I fired it up. And because it's on the 85, it's a little bit harder to start on a cold start. Anyway, I give it a little bit of throttle. It fired up, and then it cut out. I fired it up again, and it backfired. And I went and cranked it over, and it went clunk, clunk, clunk. And I went, "Are oh, you fucking kidding me?" And have a look what it did. It just smashed all the teeth off the fucking ring gear. I think my starter's okay. So now when it winds over, it winds over, it goes, rrr, 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 clunk, rrr, rrr, clunk. So, you know what? Fucking spewing. Box out. Gonna have to put another ring gear on it. Oh well, here's what it is. Nine. It's out. Took me about an hour. Got it out. Pretty easy. Um. It was a little bit warm, but not that bad. Um, so it's out. Um, I'll show you. I'll just have a look at the ring, at the starter motor. It looks okay, I think. Yeah, the starter motor. It didn't break the starter. Which would have been a lot easier if it had her. <laughs> I'll give you the tip. But, uh, oh, probably about the same amount of time, there's less bolts on, dude. Um, so, I've got another one here, but it's only a standard one. This is a super approved one. So, I'm going to take this into Henry and see if he can repair it. Whether he can weld all these up and machine them down, I don't know. We're going to give it a go, ask the question. Or, the other thing was, we machine that uh, ring gear off there, machine that ring gear off there, Press it onto there and then uh, just weld it. Um, that's what we do all with everything else and the older types. This won't be SFI approved anymore, but you know what? It'll stay together and it won't fly apart, so we'll Alrighty. see. How we go. Uh, a bit of luck. Went and seen uh, Pete at Corsa yesterday and he had a flex plate in stock sitting there. He's waiting for us. How lucky are we? So thanks to Pete at Corsa for having that in stock. Let's get it together. Alrighty guys, all back in. Just got to put some oil in it. We've got the new flex plate in it. Uh, did have to bolt up into different holes on this flex plate, but it's not a problem. Uh, Alright, here we go. Just put some oil in it and we'll fire it up. See how it goes. Alrighty. Uh, first start. Let's see what it does. A bit hard, I've got to do two hands here to start it. Hang on. Well, it's trying to start. <laughs> there we go. So it winds over and starts beautifully. And you can tell I put the exhaust back on it because it's just too rowdy. Um, oh, it sounds pretty good. We'll hit it again. There we go. I'm pretty happy. It sounds very good. No more clanks and bangs. We do have an exhaust leak though. 
Oh, a spark plug. I think it's an exhaust leak. I'll have to have a look at that. Always stack the bolts that come loose. And I think it's the gasket stack this. And it's just chopping out there. Oop. There you go, baby. No. So she's just chopping out there. I do have another gasket there, so when it cools down, I might just pull that off and replace it. I reckon it must have blown it out because the gasket I, we put in it was one of those. Uh, where's the other one? Good, it was here somewhere. That's what that looks like. So it's probably blown all the uh, edge off it. But I've got that one there, so I might pull that off and fix it. I would say because I've been running it with no exhaust on it, it's vibrating loose. But I did not go back over that and retention that after I fired up hot. With this side, it's been fine. So. Uh, just me being lazy, can't get in there when it's hot, so I didn't worry about it, and it's a uh, bit of on the arse. Right. Never mind. Uh, thought about a few on this too, so we're just putting in our, our brake line lock off. Um, so we've got a tap, not oh, making a bloody mess here, got a tap in um, the, uh, sorry, got a tap in the uh, brake pipe. It goes to there so we can lock our back brakes off so I'll just whack that on and we'll see if we can make it work or not work okay. one of the two there we go we've got our rear brake line shut off valve in there all bled up uh, so now as we do when we get to skid row we can just turn that off and we should have a very very hard brake pedal here because it'll only work on the front oh shit yeah yep <laughs> that's hard as a cat's head um, because it's just working in the front cylinders and it's not allowing the, the pressure so when I turn that back off now the brake pedal will go down further yep heaps further so that's working good so now we can just pull up at skid row and just go bang no back brakes let's fry them Let's get them smoking! Woohoo! Alrighty. Just doing some Summonats prep, and here comes this thing for more Summonats prep. Dude, that sounds good. <laughs> so, we've got a little bit of work to do with this. Uh, tray's got to come off it, we've got a polish on it, we're going to repaint a new grill for it because we don't like that grill. And he wants to put new windows in it as well. We're going to back it in, Dave. Alrighty, we'll get her in on the All right. As you can see, tray is off, and uh, this is our dilemma. This big crack here in that timber. Hang on, look at the camera. Let me come back a bit. Where is it? So that's it. This big crack here going right through. So, what I want to do is I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to brace the back of it because it goes right through there you can see so I've made up some plates we're going to brace the back of it here that go across here three of them so uh, I can take it out of that without it splitting in half because um, I don't really want it to, to move and then we're going to go and put some resin in it we're going to let that cure overnight and then we're going to sand it off uh, sand the whole lot off and give it a full uh, clear. Just uh, I'm going to clear the whole thing, and we'll see what it comes up like. That's our goal. See if we get that done today. Right. Got uh, that resin in there. Get that set overnight. See how that goes. And um, just got the grill all painted up and cleared. Now, I'm not sure if you can see the red fleck in that or not, um, but. That's all, we've got to put all the, uh, the steels on it yet. So uh, it's all painted, so we'll let that cure tonight. And then we've got to put the, um, oh, what do you call it? The bloody, the stainless things on it. Oh, right. good. Hey, what are we doing this morning? More Summonats prep. <clears throat> well, it's, uh, it's amazing, isn't it, what have we got? It's uh, Thursday the 28th, is it? 
I think it is, something like that. Hang on. Thursday the 28th, and, um, yep, still doing some of that prep. Um, let's have a look at what we got here. From the Stato, it's, um, it just needs a good wax. I washed it the other day, as you saw, stuffed the flywheel or the, or the ring gear, put a new one of them in it. Um, the, uh, here's the, uh, you can see what happened with the, uh, extractor gasket. It blew through there and was still, it was leaking. So I put another one on there and it's still leaking. That is what it is. I actually, what I should do is pull the extractor right off so I can get in there. It's probably still got a bit of stuff on it. Um, but you know what? We'll see. If we want to <laughs> look at the this, look at the dirt load. That's from just backing it round when I had the extractor straight out. So I've got to give it another clean and a wax. I did wax this. <laughs> I got the dirt all on it. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, so I still got to do that. Um, uh, so what are we doing? If, uh, as you saw, we've um, I've redone the uh, the wood. On here, I need to finish that off. Um, Dave probably needs to detail all under here, get rid of all that dust before we put it back on. And the other thing is, we've got to get we've put some new windows in it. He's bought some new windows, he's bought some new windows. There they are, there. So I went and grabbed some other windows, and I need to knock get these off. Well, these windows and then slide them on to the new ones um, it is a real pain in the ass to do um, I don't really there is no easy way to do it I've got to get them ones off and then what we've got to do is try and slip these on to the new glass what I normally do is start at one end with the rubber and then tap it on all the way across it's the only way I've found um, to do it nice and to keep it on there without breaking the window it is a pain in the ass I cannot guarantee I'm not going to break a window um, let's hope I don't because we want to put new windows in this thing even though these ones aren't too bad but he wants to get it in the top 60 street in it in the ute and you can just see there's I'm not sure you can see there's some, some marks on the glass I did tell him, mate, we'll just wind the windows down, but nah. He said, nah, nah, let's do it properly. Put new ones in it, and you can see that it's a bit hard, but you can see there's a lot of scratches in it. Anyway, that's all right. Do what he wants. It's his car. It's his, um, his turn to get it into the top 60. Here's that grill. You can see it just does not fit. This is an aftermarket grill. It does not fit perfect. That's why we're doing the other grill. So uh, that's up there being painted. We're just going to put the steels back on it. Um, and, it and I've got to re-polish this bonnet. Um, I did a quick polish on it for the car show, um, but it's not perfect. So I just got to re-polish the bonnet and give the whole car a wax. And should be right. All right, we'll keep knocking. We'll All keep right knocking here. it. One done, I'll tell you what, it was a bitch to get off the other window. Absolute mother of shit fight, and I was going to break them. I didn't, there it is, there, it's okay. Um, had to do a little bit of panel beating on here, just messed them up a little bit trying to get them off. Um, but tapped it back on there, that's gone back on nicely. Uh, this one I had a little mishap with. This here has broken off. When I was tapping it, uh, that goes in here like that. Uh, other end goes in these two holes like that. So I'm just going to I'll have to tack weld that on, uh, straighten it up, and then put the rubber in it and slide it onto that glass. So it, I didn't break them, but geez, it was a bitch to get off. It was tight. It was a yeah, real mission. Uh, but we got them off. Um, I'll put this one on this glass and then I can start putting them in the car uh, But it was a bit of fun Well, I haven't got this one on yet, but I've also got a little trick That I'm going to show you guys 
these things here, these slide up and down in the Bailey channel and they have a coating on them, like a, a plastic dip when they made them, went on like that and they both come off. So what I've done is I've got myself a little bit of heat shrink. There's the heat shrink just there and I put it on there and I've heat shrunk it on there and I'm going to try that. <coughs> I'll try that and see if that slides up and down in the Bailey channel. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll just peel it off, but um, you just gotta remember, when you, that wheel stayer there, the heat shrink, it ends up going tacky, like glues itself on to the, the material underneath, so it should stay on there, no worries. And that should allow it to slide up and down in the Bailey channel, up and down in here, without it wanting to wobble it sideways. Okay, windows, all window channels are all done now I've got to get these windows out so all the door trims off um, pull the window regularly out and we'll slip the new window in and so here we go no. windows are in just got to give them a big clean or Dave can give them a clean that's making it look 100% better we did find a problem with the throttle cable had slipped and wasn't even getting any throttle at all so Dave was saying it felt a little bit weak he didn't know why that would be why um, so all the windows are done, this need good wash, whole new needs a wash, to be honest with you. Uh, looking good. Righty. So she's all prepped up, all glued back together, I've sanded it all back to, to 400, um, just to get a bit of etching on it. Um, now we're going to give it a, a clear coat, um, I'm just using our brilliant, uh, Spice Hecker 8025, I love it, it is the best clear you can actually ever use. Um, hopefully this has had a, it's not going to react with this clear that's on there. This is a wood based clear, I don't know, I haven't done it before. So uh, I, all I have is our clear, so I'm going to use that and see how it goes. Alrighty. So two coats of our high solid clear on there. Uh, they don't need any more than two. It's um, it's pretty shiny. That's what we want. It's got a heap of clear on it. Before, and virtually what I've done is put it, virtually flow coated it, what you would call flow coating. So you get the clear, sand it back, then you give it another two coats of clear, and leave it off the gun. That'll be fine. It's all glued together. We'll let that dry off and harden up overnight and put it back in tomorrow so there we go back here this morning uh we're gonna pull the tank out of it um because we have a little issue when we go under half a tank to around a quarter of a tank and we give it full stick it wants to uh lean out or surge because uh what we believe is happening is the uh the big ass pump we've got in it is uh sucking the uh um, the swirl pot dry too quickly and it's not uh, filling quick enough so we're going to uh, talk to Scotty at Kappa and he said cut the whole bottom out of it so we're going to cut the bottom out of it and drill some holes in, a, in the swirl pot so it'll just fill a lot quicker and uh, won't have any running lean at high RPM with low fuel in it. Okay. So there we go. Fuel tank is out for how many times is that now Trev? About five times? <laughs> we'll get there. Right, let's get All this right. pump out. There it is. We already pulled out those, but it still wasn't enough. So we'll drill that one out, and then we're going to drill a series of holes around it, so it makes it fill a lot quicker. There we go. Got some gaping holes in it. Uh, a few people are probably saying, "Oh, why do you got to do that?" Right. Well, this is why. Because we've got the 520 pump in it, it pumps a shit load of fuel and it just sucks this dry. If we've got fuel in the tank, it's only like a quarter and it's there, it just sucks this dry and it can't, it doesn't, especially with the blower, it's probably using a shitload of ethanol, it doesn't return it back into the, here is like it would a normal, a normal pump would um, with a normal engine. It, the return goes back in through here and it fills this swirl pot up and keeps it full all the time um, when you're running on the low tank. But because this pumps so much, 
and the engine uses so much, it's sucking this dry and it can't refill it quick enough. So what we're doing is virtually just making this as a baffle. Uh, so when the fuel's here, it will stay full and it's sucking from everywhere in the tank, not just out of that. So hopefully that'll fix our problem. See how we go. Hey okay, guys. Tuesday the second. And we're still not finished prepping. <laughs> we're getting there. So today is, uh, what we're doing is I'm going over the, uh, the Stato with the uh, 3D speed and then we'll hit it with the, with the wax, which that, that is a wax as well. It's a wax and polish in one, but, but um, I wanted to do that and I'll show you what we're using for the wax. It's, I love it. It's good shit. Where is it? It's this stuff here, the, uh, the mother's. Uh, polished glaze so we're using that we'll go over that uh, as well and we'll give it a good uh, hard cut with a, well not a cut but a good hard waxing which is a coat when we when we wax we put coats on it and it feels all in the little imperfections and the uh, the speed it takes them out so uh, so that's what we're going to be doing this morning getting stuck into the old girl and then we're going to get the trailer in I haven't even checked the trailer over but it should be right. We'll get the trailer in, get that all hook, uh, hooked up and, and ready, check all the tyres and everything on it, and load this girl up and get the tonner on the Dave's trailer, and then we'll be heading to Summonats. Well, not today, but tomorrow morning at four, we're getting up and we're leaving. Morning, David. Morning. Keen? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Uh, just to catch up on the ton you might have seen in the uh, last uh, Summonats uh, prep volume 2. Um, you would have saw us doing that. If you haven't seen that, go back to the last video and check that one out. That was uh, building the trailer and getting this thing up. So that's the header board. We've got that back in. I forgot to film that the other day. So that's come up pretty sweet. Very shiny. Isn't it? Looking good. All right, so um, the only thing we did, we'd punished the other bonnet. We've got to give it a whack. So anyway, we're going to load it up on the trailer, take it back down to the workshop, and uh, we'll do it back down there. Looking good. One, loaded. Okay, let's lock it down. Locked and loaded. Next stop, Canberra. Actually, Wagga Wagga will be in the first. Ah, Belrin will be our first stop, Wagga Wagga. Dog in the tucker box, then camera. All right. Bit of air goes in the tyres. Bit of air in the rubber. About to put the stato on. Tire all down. And look at that. We aren't dickheads after all, Paul. They've done it the same. So maybe we didn't do it the wrong way. Look at that. Maybe we have done it right then. That's how the trailer guys do it. There that you one. go. We aren't dickheads after all, mate. Look at that. You got some up the front too. What are your front ones like? Because we didn't put any in the front. They're the same. Same? No. Look at that. Don't we get it right we, then? we never fucked it up. Whoops. Never done it wrong anyway. All right. Moving the state out to put on the trailer.
hooked up. It's got his beast all locked and loaded. Ready to go. We'll see him four in the morning. We're here at uh, JP Trim. Here's the boys. How you going, boys? Where are you at, mate? <laughs> what is the time? Uh, let's have a look at this other one. It is 2.30 on the second. And what we're putting carpet in. And we just, there's the seats. You'll be done by lunch, no, uh, knock off time. Just depends when knock off time is, eh, Mum? <laughs> How you going? We'll be done and ready to leave in the morning, that's for sure. Look at this. You've gone overboard. Had to be done. Can't put anything too terrible on there for you. It's got over fits. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let's go try this one. Alright. So he's got me blower cover done, and as I said, he's gone overboard. I just asked for something to cover him. And he's, look at the diamond stitching in it. It just flashes the car, mate. Tuck it around everything so it holds on. I'll pull it tight. Fucking beautiful. Just hooks behind everything so it can't blow off. Fucking excellent mate, you've done a good job. Fucking rap for that. It'll stop the rain. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get a bit apparently. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, so now back into yours. Back into mine. Done by five. <laughs> On the trailer by ten maybe, <laughs> if we're lucky. Still get a few hours of sleep before we leave. Um, still gotta put everything in it. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, you'll, right. be right. you'll, you'll get three ammo like every other one. Alrighty. Yeah. Locked and loaded. You ready? Yep. Let's go now. <laughs> there we are, both all done, ready to go, uh, got to go get some diesel, we'll go in and fill them up and be ready to go at four in the morning, pitch black, hit the road, on our way David, yep. excited, ready, ready. very excited, alright, well that's it for this uh, Summer Nats 36 prep, we are prep ready to go. Not much more we can do. It is what it is, isn't it, mate? Yep. If we forgot it, we'll have to buy it. Alrighty. Thanks for coming along and watching. If you haven't subscribed, please jump on and subscribe. Hit the bell. Share it with your friends. And if you're coming to Summer Nats, come up and say hello. Grab some merch. We'll have some merch there. Um, Alrighty, guys. So, what we're going to do, everybody that's coming to Summer Nats that wants to get some merch from us and say hello, um, come out to the Oval on Friday and Saturday, 12 to 1. We're going to have the Tunner and the HT out on the Able. Probably even the Stato. We'll see how we go. We'll have them out there. Come and check them out. Come and grab some merch off us. Say hello and we'll see you there. Radio. Cheers. Dad's got the big V out. Nice and dirty. We're gonna go for cruise into town, get something to eat. Kick her in the guts, Barry. Who made that jump? Okay. Who made that jump? It's too long. <laughs> Good night, Trav. What do you got to say to Sean? We might take this, eh, Sean? What do you reckon? Yeah, Bruce.